I believe that I am going, I, if I were the, rule, uh, the benevolent dictator of the world, I would legalize bestiality where you are giving, you where you are pleasuring the animal. You see what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> okay. Why, why now, why? Why did that happen? It's the dumbest thing I've said. It I'm really saying. is the dumbest thing you said. But no, 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 I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I mean, if you really ask the horse, did you mind? The answer's got to be, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? No. This is such an awkward conversation. It is. All yeah. right, I'm going to leave it be, okay? All right, folks, I figured on this lovely Saturday, we might as well take a break from all the serious content and hard hitting issues to have a little laugh and do a little bit of making fun of our good friend, Chank Uyghur, or as I like to say his name, Chank Uyghur, because as some people may have forgotten by now, he is still running his Democratic presidential campaign. <laughs> I can't say that seriously. His Democratic presidential campaign for president, right? He's actually trying to primary Joe Biden, making the argument that Joe Biden's going to lose to Trump. But of course, Cenk Uyghur would certainly beat Trump, right? Everyone's just, he's such a political force, you know, if only they'd give him a chance. Um, but, and then also, of course, making the argument that Joe Biden is not a real progressive. He's a corporate Democrat. Uh, but as you know, Chank Weaker is actually <laughs> Chank Weaker is actually not eligible to run for president or be president because he's not a natural born American citizen, right? He's uh, he's born in Turkey, but he has been running a presidential campaign for several months now, raising money from supporters, basically grifting uh while he's not even eligible to be president so he's running a presidential campaign when he's not eligible to be president and the legal system in virtually every single state so far has agreed he's not been able to even qualify for the ballot and the whole thing is hilarious because this week after he of course did not qualify for new hampshire and basically got virtually no write-in votes I, I don't know if he got any votes but it certainly uh was not a whole lot of them he has been throwing a fit on Twitter about this and let's just enjoy it because it's Saturday and uh, we might as well have a little fun. But yeah, again, to reiterate, Cenk Uyghur is not eligible to run for president because he's not a natural born American citizen. And that's why he didn't appear on the New Hampshire primary ballot, which, of course, is such a tragedy because he really was this close to beating Biden. You know, if only they gave him a chance, if only he was not a write in candidate, uh, I'm sure he would actually upset Joe Biden and be cruising right now to the Democratic nomination. But anyways, here's what he said in response to that. He says, in New Hampshire, Vermin Supreme, which is the guy with the boot on his head, right? The guy who says free ponies. He's the satire candidate. Although I would argue Vermin Supreme does not even come close to the satire candidate that is Cenk Uyghur. But I digress. He says, was allowed on the ballot and I wasn't. This is how it feels to be a second class citizen. He's saying because he can't run for president because he's not eligible, uh, that makes him a second class citizen. He says 24 million citizens are considered lower than vermin. If natural, if the natural born clause has not been amended out of the Constitution, no one can argue that it isn't discrimination. We'll talk about Cenk Weaker's constitutional argument as to why he believes he's eligible to run for president in a second. But clearly, the courts and all the legal systems so far in these states have disagreed because the Constitution's pretty clear. You have to be a natural born citizen to run for president, right? But he goes on because people were making a lot of fun of him for this, okay? Because you see comments here. This person says, on the other hand, Vermin Supreme is more popular. That's actually true, right? <laughs> you know? uh, but anyways, uh, someone said, you need to be deported. I'm not saying that, okay, but I'm just reading to you what people said here. This guy points out, yes, dude, you didn't meet the criteria required to be on the ballot. I always thought you were just trolling with this I'm running for president gag. Arguably, maybe he still is, okay? I've made the case. 
I think in many ways, Chank Uyghur is an elaborate performance artist, so elaborate that he doesn't even know it. OK, he doesn't even know it, but he makes such good arguments for conservatism and ridicules his own side in ways he doesn't even understand. But that's very true. So, yes, in many ways, Chank Uyghur is just a big troll. Frankly, I kind of like the guy. I really do, because it's like, how can you hate the circus clown? You know, you can't. He, he's a lovable idiot. He really is. And so that's how I feel about Cheng Uyghur. This is true. Uh, anyways, he says, uh, that's just the name the guy calls himself. And you're trying to twist. Per OK, so, you know, this person said that uh, other people saying, I hope you are deported. I'm not saying, listen, Cheng Uyghur is a huge asset to this country. What else would we have? OK, imagine America without Cheng Uyghur screaming about progressive Democrats. All right. Uh, so yeah, I, I disavow. Okay. The Chank Uyghur is such a content machine. We need him in this country, uh, frankly, but yeah, this person points out, yes, Chank Uyghur was born in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, someone called him chunk yogurt and it got 49. <laughs> I know I'm piling on here folks, but it, it's, it's just too funny. But anyways, he responded saying nearly everyone in the comment section, as expected, <laughs> thinks this discrimination is awesome and hilarious, which of course it is. It is. Okay. <laughs> this whole thing is so funny. You got, you ran for president and you're not eligible. And now you're complaining about it. <laughs> he says, ha ha, ha ha, your own country doesn't trust you. It's not really your country. You don't belong here. Yeah. That's really funny. This is what it feels like to be second class. <laughs> Um, and then he goes on. He, he's now attacking the Democrat Party. He says, by the way, the entire media and Democratic Party also agrees. Ha ha. You don't have the same rights as other people. That's so funny. Not one person, not one should even care about your rights. Uh, how dare you even fight for your rights? It's almost like they're outraged that I'm asking for equality. Yeah, you know, Chank, you really are so oppressed. You are. All right. You know, people in this country fought slavery and uh all that stuff you know segregation but of course the biggest crime that's ever been committed against anyone in this country was the fact that chenk Uyghur is not eligible to run for president what a drama queen dude like the guy's gonna pretend he's a second class citizen in america when he's a millionaire you know, he, he can do anything. He can run for all other types of office. The guy can run for Congress, which, by the way, he did and he failed. He got like one percent. If you remember back to 2020. But yeah, you know, the fact that he's not able to hold the presidency, the highest office in our country, that, of course, shows that this is worse than slavery, worse than segregation, frankly, worse than 1984 itself. Uh, that Cenk Uyghur cannot run for president. OK, and then he went on to say this. He, he's just being so dramatic. I, I, I can't even hate this guy because he's just too funny. He says being barred from running feels like a sign above my head saying you don't belong. You can't be trusted. You're an outsider. OK, but where do I go? This is my country. It feels so weird to be openly second class. Do I have to accept that I am not equal? <laughs> Again, you would think the guy is being like oppressed or, you know, you know, being denied employment or something at a real job. No, it's literally just that he can't run for president. Actually, technically, he can run for president. He just can't get on the ballot because he's a clown. Right. But, uh, you know, again, we, this is just too funny. Uh, yeah, you can't be president. Get over it. Uh, instead of running for president, find a progressive district, run for a House seat. If you win, you can represent them and take your grievances on the House floor. Of course, that's what the uh, truly constructive thing to do uh, if you were Chank Uyghur, th that's what the thing to do would be, right? Is be like AOC or Ilhan Omar or all these people that are just grassroots, crazy progressives, much like yourself, who decided to just get involved and run for office. And realistically, if he ran in a super progressive district, I still have doubts as to whether he would win because he's just such a clown, but he'd have a real chance at winning, unlike this presidential primary bid. But of course, what is it about? It's about a grift. OK, you know, he's getting a and by the way, I really can't hate the hustle because I think it's hilarious. You know, it is what it is. But let me raise a bunch of money. 
I don't know if it's a bunch of money, but let me raise money. Let me garner attention for a fake presidential bid that is literally like not even possible instead of actually trying to run for office and get involved. But, you know, it's Shank Uyghur. Uh, It's not a surprise. But I do think this guy makes a great point, which is if he was really serious about changing the country and changing its politics and getting involved, he wouldn't be running a performative primary bid to Joe Biden and trying to take up a fake Supreme Court case that he's inevitably going to lose. He would try to actually do something serious. Okay. Uh, but you, know, you wouldn't win. So don't worry too much about it. So, so true. So true. Okay. So you may be asking the question, why does Chank Uyghur even claim he can run for president? Well, as you know, of course, the 14th, the constitution, I should say, pretty clearly states you have to be a natural born citizen. Chank Uyghur has been trying to make the argument and he's been doing it since day one, that the equal protection clause of the 14th amendment guarantees that he's allowed to run for president and that natural born citizen clause in the original constitution is null and void. So let's read the 14th amendment so we can understand the false argument he's trying to make there. It says that no state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the U S nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty or property without due process of law nor deny any person within the jurist within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. So Chank Uyghur is basically trying to claim that equal protection means he has the right to run for president. Of course, I'm not a constitutional scholar. I, you know, some people may, might make this argument better than me, but equal protection of the law. First of all, the 14th Amendment, the context of it was giving full citizenship to former slaves, okay, who, first of all, were natural born citizens of the country, or at least naturally born in the time at the country. So that kind of voids the point already. But furthermore, when you talk about equal protection of the law and jurisdiction, to me, that's talking about laws, right? You know, criminal laws, civil law, stuff like that versus a constitutional mandate saying that you have to be 35 years old to be eligible to run for president, right? Running for president is not an inherent right. It's something more so of a privilege that's earned by these certain criteria. Okay. So frankly, it's a legal argument. I think he's going to lose. And the issue is if the case he's making that everything that the U S constitution says about the requirements to run for president should be void. You just have to be a citizen because that gives you equal protection under the 14th amendment. Then why does that just apply by Chenk Uyghur's logic to the natural born citizen clause, right? Cause it also says that you have to have residency in the U S for the past 14 years. And it also says that you have to be over 35 years old, Right. So would those also be void? Because technically you'd be dis also discriminating against certain American citizens by doing that. Isn't it ageist to say that an 18 year old can run for president? And then even furthermore, forget running for president. What about age in general? Right? Like the voting age and the age to own property and do stuff being at 18. Isn't that discrimination against American citizens who are under 18? Again, if you're claiming that's what equal protection means, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I would make the argument the right to run for president isn't really a quote unquote right. It's a privilege. But I don't know. I'm not a constitutional scholar. I'm not going to get into the nerdy arguments of that. I'm just going to point out that all virtually almost every single state so far has disqualified Cheng from the ballot. He claims that he's going to make a Supreme Court case that's going to deem him eligible yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Good luck. But instead, uh, in the meantime, we can enjoy the consent of Chenk Uyghur crying and claiming he's a second class citizen. It's just too good. It's just too good. Uh, but yeah, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. It's just too funny. We got to react to more Chenk Uyghur, okay? Uh, you know, it, I'm I'm waiting. He hasn't held any presidential events like, dude, do a campaign rally, do a town hall. We want to see that. OK, it'll be amazing. But whatever, whatever. <laughs> I guess you can't get them all. OK, I cannot enjoy the amazing content that would be Cenk Uyghur actually going out in public and campaigning.
Apparently that's too much to ask, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and until next time, alpha moves only, God bless, have a very good day, and Jake Weger says peace.